Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Kenny from Turbo Kitchen and today I'm going to be making a short little video to tell to you guys about how to update uh, maps in your car. Now this video is going to be specific to uh, 2016 Honda Civic model as that's the car that I drive. And recently my system uh, came up one day to say you have a map update. So I looked into, into how to do it. Um, I've done the update. It's super simple to go over. It only takes a few steps. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that for yourselves. Okay guys, so the first step in updating your maps is to determine uh, what update is available. Now fortunately for me, my system gave me a notice that there was an update available. But um, if you're not sure, you simply go into your navigation in your car, click on settings, scroll down to where it says device, click there, and then click update map. Now once you click on that, it's going to give you this message to say please visit this website for information on updating your navigation system. So I'll go through that in a little bit. Um, the process is quite simple, but once you've got onto the website, um, all you need to download the maps is a USB device with at least 16 gigabytes of space. Um, this is the one that I use here. And once you've gone to the website, you've downloaded the maps, then you can go ahead with uh, the update process in your car. Hey guys, and one thing to note, um, before you are able to use your USB device to download the maps, um, you need to first format it into your car. So if we look down here in the center console, of your Civic, there's a little USB port right down in the middle. I'm not sure if you guys can see it on camera, but it's right down there. So you're gonna plug your USB device um, into that USB port, and then where on your system where it said update map, you're gonna click it, you hit OK, and it's gonna format your device. But um, you need to make sure that your car is on and running. It can be at idle. It only takes about a minute to format the drive, and once it says it's complete, you uh, you unplug it, you shut your car off, and then we go inside to our computer, and we do the map um, download from there. So I'm going to cut to that in a minute and show you guys how to do that. All right, guys. So once you've done the format of the USB drive in your car, you can bring it back inside, plug it into your computer, and you're going to go to the website that was provided. In this case, it was um, garmin.com slash Honda, and it's going to direct you to this web page. Now, to get started, we simply click over here where it says get started. And it's going to bring up uh, three different steps. The first step is download instructions. Um, what that does is it downloads a uh, PDF file onto your computer that gives you the full step-by-step -step breakdown of how to do the updates yourself. But for right now, we're just going to focus on step two, which is downloading the software onto your computer. So you're going to click download Garmin Express. It's going to put the, um, the map update software onto your computer. And once that has all been installed, you can click over to it here, and um, you're gonna click add a device. Now, I've already done the map update, as I stated before, so you'll see my vehicle is already there. But if you're gonna do this for the first time, you would click on add a device. Um, it's gonna bring up the information that's on your USB stick pertaining to whatever vehicle you are trying to update. And then once your vehicle has been added, you will click on it, it's going to bring up this screen and tell you that there's an update available. You're going to want to go ahead and click install after this. Um, it gives you the estimated install time here. It's usually pretty bang on. I know when I did it myself, it took about uh, an hour, hour and a half um, to download the software. And then once uh, that is downloaded, um, you can take your USB out of your computer and go back into your vehicle and install the update. Now, um, as I mentioned before, this video is specific to uh, my Honda Civic model, but if you're not sure um, if your vehicle uses a Garmin system or not, you can go over to the Garmin website, and it's going to give you a list of all the, um, the cars that use their system, and then you can click on whatever uh, your vehicle is here, and it's going to tell you what updates are available and if they are currently available. Okay, so once you plug your USB back into the car with the map updated on the uh, USB, um, you're going to come to a screen that says update map, you're going to click yes to install, and then you're going to see this loading screen here. Um, I'm not sure how long the process is going to take, as you can see I'm currently at 56%, I've been doing it for a little bit, for a little while. But once it's complete, it'll come up and say your map has been completed, and then you can go ahead and use your maps as normal. Okay guys, so update says it's successful, so we're going to go ahead and hit OK. And now we should be able to use the maps as we normally have before. So 
Gonna give you the loading screen. And then All right, everyone, there is a process for updating your map vehicles on your own. The actual update process in the car only took me 15 to 20 minutes, despite the hour time frame that was given. Um, in that time, I drove around to ensure the car was running and had constant power so that the update could occur. Um, I hope you found this video informative. As I mentioned earlier, if you're not comfortable doing this process yourself, you can always take your vehicle to your local dealership and they can help you out no problem, I'm sure. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up down below and browse the channel. If you enjoy the content, remember it is free to, sub to subscribe, so hit that red subscribe button. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram. I'll put the name somewhere on screen here for all other Turbo Kitchen content. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for some upcoming videos, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.